Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, show you how to uh, put equations into a Word document. We're going to do something that you should know something about. Um, here's our Word. We're going to go up here. We'll choose a heading. Um, and we're going to do something that you know something about. Deriving quadratic formula. Okay, let's see. Let's change that to a style that we'd like to do. Heading two sounds good. Here we go. We go down and start our document. There's quadratic equation in the form of. Okay, now here's our first um, equation. Now, if you're using Word 2007 or 2010, you have uh, this ribbon interface. And here we do the insert and there's the equation over here. If you've got uh, 2003 or 97 then you have to go to the edit menu and do an insert object which looks very similar to uh, this menu here. Yes we have to wait on uh, Microsoft to wake up decide it's going to do something. And then here Microsoft Equation 3.0. Uh, they still have it here in 2007-2010 and it's it's a pretty good editor. Uh, there's some things I like about it but um, anyway we're going to do 2010 today. So let's cancel out of that. Okay we're going to insert our first equation here. We want the general form of the quadratic. So we'll insert we'll do A, X, I'm going to go back and highlight that x, go here, because I want to put x squared. So I need a superscript, and there that is. Go up to the little square there, put in my 2, and then arrow over, get out of there, plus, uh, let's see, bx plus c equals 0. Okay, now there's our first equation. Okay, and we edit it, it's in line can be solved using the method of completing the square, or as we might call it, CTS. We can derive the quadratic formula, whoops, let me spell that correctly, by using CTS, completing the square on this general form. Okay, well, now I'm going to describe the method. Okay, well, the first thing we're going to do is get the constant uh, C out of the way. I'm going to put an italic C there. Get the constant C out of the way by subtracting it. From both sides. Okay. All right. Now the default format for an equation. Let's just copy this here. Is um, well, it looks like fill. Puts it in the center. That's okay. That'll work for us for right now. And we want to subtract c from both sides, so we might put another equation here. Let's see. Um, minus C, and let's put it closer to the C over here, put some spaces in, and then, oops, oh, that's okay, don't worry about it, uh, minus C. Okay, let's see, maybe, let's look at the format here, let's go to the home, that's yeah, in fill format, let's put it in center format, so it's there. This way we can line them up. Now let's put, I know usually we're not going to print in color, but let's go ahead and put this in a nice red so we can see it. And why is it smaller all of a sudden? Okay, 
Let's see. Like I said, I want this in a, Oh, here we go. In the red color. And just to show us what the steps are. And um, now then, it is very easy to copy, like I said, shown before. So we're going to copy this again so we don't have to start all over. We want the C over here, and we'll put in the negative C. So there's our results after subtracting the C. Now let's put in the next step. To use completing the square method, we must divide out a, whoops, put a italic A in there. Uh, go back and correct this. The coefficient, coefficient in front of. Now we can go right here. We want an x squared. We can just copy that x squared out of our formula and put it right there. Okay. Now then, we want to show these steps again. Okay, so we've got this equation here, so let's copy it. Now if you're using 2007, you can just click on the tab, you get the whole thing, put it in there. Now then, here's the tricky bit. Um, I'm going to insert another equation. Sometimes you have to get a little clever with this. Type in A. Ah, it's red. Okay, that's nice. And I'm going to put an accent over it. This accent has all sorts of things, like a line. Well, it's not quite what I want to do, but... Now then, you have to, no, I'm using the arrow keys. You see that highlights and unhighlights. These are arrow keys I'm here. You can't actually see me doing it, but that's what I'm doing to get this. Let's go over to home to see, is it centered? Yeah, okay, let's keep, it's probably pretty good. All right, now we'll put in another A. Go back to our, our accent. We have to go back up here at equation tools. Um, doesn't, whoops, let's not do that. Control Z, of course, will take you out. I want the A, so I'll highlight that again, put the arrow in that. Oops, that would happen. Okay, kind of center it there. Then play with the spaces until I get it lined up the way I want it. Uh, that'll work, I'll take that. Okay, then it looks like we're dividing by A. And of course, we want the result. And we'll skip a space to put that in there. Copy our equation again. And put our results. Obviously, we don't have A there anymore. Um, we're going to have a B over A, so... You can highlight the B. Yes, this isn't going to do the algebra for you, so you have to do it yourself. And put the A there. So you might want to work it off on the side and then write your equation in, equations in. And you write your paper. Okay. And then we can continue with the next step. Well, that's a pretty good indication of um, how you put these in. But uh, I've done this already. I'm going to add in the rest of the steps. I'm going to show you one other trick that's nice to know. So let me copy this over here to our document so I don't bore you with all the fine details here. Okay, so this is where we ended. The next step is take half of BA and square it and add it to both sides. 
Uh, might be nice to have a little bit of room there. Okay. Now, as you can see, this doesn't flow very well. We've got lots of text. It's hard to follow the mathematics, although the steps are pretty clear. And this, this wouldn't be bad, but we can clean this up a little bit. One of the things to do is put it in a column format, and it's very easy to put it in column format. You want to insert a table. Let's see, two cells, and to get us started, and there we have a cell. Now, uh, it's a matter of taste. Do you want the steps over here on the left side, or do you want your equations on the left side? Well, you can make that decision. Anyway, so we're going to put our equations up there. Now, centering them like this, I don't know. I'm going to put it left justified. And then I'll have to adjust my negative C's here a little bit, maybe. So they're a little bit more lined up. There we go. And then I'm going to put my next equation there. Left justify it. Uh, maybe I'll put a, another line in there so it's clear what we're doing. All right, now to get another cell in the table, tab. Put our next step in there. Now, you could have set the table up at the beginning. That would have been fine. Um, but I just wanted to show you the contrast between the formats. Yeah, so it takes a little bit of work to do all this. You know, tab again, put the steps in. And there's quite a few steps here. Okay, <clears throat> without going through all of that. The other thing that uh, is that you might want to adjust your uh, table a little bit. Um, let's, where's that? Little mark up here. If there's a little mark up here, click on that, and that, clicks the, that uh, selects the whole table. If you want to indent it a little bit, see so we can move that one in. Just to shore it up a little bit on this side, we can bring that side in. And here's our steps. It's a little bit indented. I don't like borders, so I'm going to right-click that little square, go down here to Borders and Shading, and click None. Okay. And now, now we have, well, let's see. This needs to be left justified. Now that is left justified. Ah, I tried to put spaces in it so it would line up with stuff here. So let's realign that a little bit. There we go. Whoops, a little bit of delay here, probably because I'm recording. And anyway, we can keep doing those steps. Let me show you what that looks like um, in the final product. So I've already done that here, deriving the quadratic formula and here. Now, I like this because now you can look at just the mathematics along this side here. Um, it's very easy to follow. If you don't want to read all the words about the steps, there you go. If you get confused about a step, you can, you know, look at the explanation to the left. Okay, that ends this video. Next video, I'll be showing you how to put graphs into your papers.